What's up? My name is Rich. Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be slightly different because I bought another camera, bought another lens. So we're just giving it a test. Before we get this video started, I got to let you know about OnlyNinjas.com where you have a chance to win a GraphTech cutter and a heat press. We did have a winner from last month. We don't have her picture with the items yet, but we just sent her the items. So she should be receiving it soon. So on OnlyNinjas.com, every single dollar spent there is one entry into the giveaway. This month, another GraphTech 15 inch cutter and a Geo Knight 16 by 20 heat press. So make sure you check that out, onlyninjas.com. And now let's get straight into the video. All right, so in this video right here, we're going to discuss on how my t-shirt business model works. I've explained it a few times, but I'll explain it again because the channel has grown quite significantly, Signi sign significantly. The channel grew a lot. Anyways, so this is how my t-shirt business model works. Primarily, I sell on marketplaces such as Amazon and Etsy. It already has its own traffic. You're dependent on the keywords and that little search up top. That's how you depend on somebody to get to your channel. Uh, for example, same thing like YouTube. I depend on somebody getting to the channel or the video by guessing what people search. You know, there's a few different tools for that, but at the same time, you can kind of get an idea of what's popular and what's not. So that's how I depend on people to get to the video, or in this case, a t-shirt design. So in short, that's pretty much what I do, but I list up tons of different t-shirt designs. Now in theory, you don't necessarily need tons of t-shirt designs to sell a lot, but it does help when it comes to a market place so for example if a marketplace only has a hundred t-shirt designs up and you only have one design up your chances of being seen is one out of a hundred right but if you have five different t-shirt designs up then you have five out of a hundred chances of being seen so that's pretty much how i view it so it takes quite a bit of a catalog to be seen in that search but at the same time it does help to niche down that way you're not in an overpopulated search item so for example an overcrowded search may be this is just for example, I don't know if it's for sure, say wedding t-shirt, it might have a whole bunch of searches and it might be kind of hard to get a piece of that search. So now let's say sports themed wedding shirt. So the searches might be less, but people are still looking for it. So it's not as overcrowded and that might help you out a little bit more by niching down. So you can get into a space where people are buying, but there are less people offering that type of t-shirt. So for the most part, I pretty much sell on marketplaces, all right? Now here's the thing, if you're struggling to get at least a few sales or you've already had a few sales and you're struggling to take it to the next level, really this right here is going to be the hardest part for you. And I know it sounds easy and it sounds cliche, but it all has to do with consistency. Are you willing to put in the same amount of work that you got those first few sales into getting your next few sales. So when it comes to getting a large catalog up, all you have to do is get one, two, three t-shirt designs up every single day. And that helps out a lot in the long run. It's a really good snowball effect. One to three t-shirts times 30 days. So you get the point, you're getting 30 to 90 t-shirt designs up in a month. Now, if you have a large catalog and you're not getting sales, then the other variables may include, you might have a not so good t-shirt design and you might not have the right keywords. But when it comes to consistency, this doesn't only have to do with getting up t-shirt designs. You really have to think you're getting better by practicing it every single day. If you look at your last t-shirt design, I'm pretty sure it's better than the first one that you ever made. So it really just takes a little bit of time and practice. You get better each and every single day by putting in the work. I'm pretty sure that your t-shirt designs has become better. Your keywords get better. Everything about your business becomes better. And at a certain point, you may feel like you want to give up because you're not getting the amount of sales that you see everybody else doing or the amount of sales that you're expecting yourself to do. But if you practice it every single day, you only get better. It's only a matter of time that everything clicks for you and you're like, hey, I got it. All I have to do is rinse and repeat. In the end, you have to nail down your own type of strategy. But the most important thing is practicing it consistently every single day. Whether it's 30 minutes, an hour, or full time, eight hours, or even beyond that, to be honest, because in this world, we don't take breaks. And that's okay, because we're practicing our skill and we're getting better every single day. So, now on top of selling on marketplaces, what I do is whenever I see a certain item sell a certain amount of times, or I can tell that it's already popular on the marketplace, I pretty much just take it, throw it on Shopify, and run a Facebook ad. And when it comes to Facebook ad, I know everybody keeps on telling me to make more videos on Facebook ads, but I keep it really simple. I pretty much just throw it on Facebook, run an ad and target the audience that has to do with that t-shirt design. But all of this pretty much 
runs through a checklist. I have to make sure it sells on the marketplace first. That's what gives me that extra little hunch to say, hey, let me put it on Shopify and run Facebook ads. So when it comes to Facebook ads, it's nothing crazy. I highly believe anybody and everybody can do it. It's so simple nowadays. When it comes to setting up a Facebook ad, everything is pretty much laid out for you nowadays. Whenever you sign up your Shopify account, there's a little section that says Facebook. All you have to do is log into your Facebook and it directly shows you how to set up your ad account. Everything is pretty much integrated nowadays, so you don't have to do anything crazy. The majority of time that I hear people struggle with Facebook ads is because they haven't even touched it yet. And make sure you're not using the little promote button down at the bottom of your picture, such as like on Instagram, it says promote. Don't click this button. You can't target the right audience for your product doing this. So you have to set it up. Highly recommend it on the computer so you can do everything on there. And you can see a lot more options on there. Just make sure you sign in, take a look at everything. And, it put, and it's pretty much laid out for you. And that's pretty much how my t-shirt business works. And I know it sounds simple, but to be honest, it really is that simple. But the only difference is just the consistency y'all can't really see on camera. You know, I mean, I'm five, six years in and all of this has to do with consistency. Pretty much doing it every single day, whether it's your part time job now or it's your side hustle. Now you want it to be your full time job. You have to treat it like a full time job, whether you don't have full time hours available yet. You know, if you have a full time job and you're doing this on the side and you want it to scale up some more, you still have to put in those full time hours, treat it like a full time job. But even any small amount helps as long as you're doing it every single day. You can get one, two, three T-shirt designs up now and then you're going to do it again next week. That's a very small amount. If, if you do it every single day, it doesn't seem like it will help out a lot because it's just a small amount, but it's a snowball effect. It helps out in the long run. And not only that, it's really all about that practice. You're going to get better and better. Even if you just did one t-shirt design every single day, I'm pretty sure on the last day of the month, if you look at your first day, I'm pretty sure your designs got way better. You learned something about keywords every time you list it up. You're Googling something on how to get better search results. Uh, all of those types of things. So just be consistent with your t-shirt business and I'm more than positive that it's going to work out for you. Just think if you're not just starting off and you've already had a few t-shirt designs and you've already had a few t-shirt sales here and there, just up your confidence a little more and say, hey, I do know what I'm doing. I just need to rinse and repeat. And the more you do it, guess what? Those sales will repeat. So um, this was a quick little video that I felt like I needed to throw out there. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This was kind of difficult. I didn't know which camera to look at. And now I'm looking at this one. Please comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Hey, Hustle Ninja. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you want to support the channel and have the chance to win a giveaway to help your clothing brand, be sure to check out OnlyNinjas.com. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay hustling.